This video will guide you through the concept of property binding in Angular. Before understanding property binding, you should be familiar with string interpolation in Angular. If you are not, then watch the previous video on string interpolation before moving further. Property binding means binding a property of a DOM element to a property in component class. Let's say you have an image element having a SRC property. Right now it is hard coded as this. Let's see how it looks in the browser. With property binding, we can remove this hard coded value from the template and associate it with the property of component class. Let's cut it. Go to the component class, make a property, say image URL and initialize it with this value. Back to the template. Now with property binding syntax, enclose the element property within square brackets and assign it to the property that we created in the component class. Go to the browser. It works. Further, if you have used this value at multiple places in the template, then with property binding, you can control it from one single place in the component class. Thus, property binding makes a component more dynamic since you can anytime change the value of a property in the component class. At many places, you will see this syntax for property binding. This is string interpolation where you are assigning the SRC property of img tag with the value in image URL property of the component class. Behind the scenes, Angular translates it into this syntax. Now a question would be coming to your mind. When to use string interpolation and when to use property binding? It depends. At places where you want to show some text such as in a span, a div, a paragraph or heading elements, string interpolation is recommended. Let me show you why. Suppose we need to display the value of image URL property in a div. With property binding syntax, you need to bind the image URL property with the inner text property of a div like this. Back to the browser. It works. With string interpolation, you just need to write a div and wrap the image URL property between double curly braces like this. Back to the browser. See, this also works. As you can see, string interpolation method is shorter, more cleaner and easy to write as compared to property binding. One last thing, property binding works from component to HTML template. That is, if there is any change in the component property, that change will be reflected in the template. Thus, if I change the component's property value to this, back in the browser, look, it updated at both the places. But if there is a change in the template, then it will not be reflected in the component class, such as in an input box. If you change its value, the value of the underlying component property will not change. This is called two-way binding and will be covered as a separate video. That's all for property binding in Angular in this video. Hit like if you enjoyed this video.